In this segment, we're going to take a look at offsets and outlines. And that has a tool at the bottom of your workspace on the editing toolbar right here, outlines and offsets. So to get started, I need to create a couple of objects. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I guess first of all, we'll create a nice little sort of square shape and we'll create ourselves a circle shape. And I think I'll change their color to be just something a little bit easier to look at than black. So maybe we'll select those two and just make them red. Okay, great. So now I have two objects. I've got the circle, or sorry, the square or rectangle overlapped with a circle. So I'm going to go ahead and select both of those objects now. And I can just say Control A to select all. And here's the tool down here, Outlines and Offsets. So let's take a look at that. Now you have two options. There's two different settings in here. One of them's for outlines, the other one's for offsets. And so I'm going to start with outlines first. And so basically what this says to me is it's going to create a satin line in the color black around my objects. And I have sort of three different choices. I have either individual outlines that go around the entire shape or a common outline that will go around the two shapes or trimmed outlines that will basically trim the outline of the square where the circle is going to overlap it. And so I'll guess I'm just going to start with this option and say, okay. And so what you can see here is it created an outline around both shapes. The circle, which was the object on top has a complete outline, but the rectangle, which was the object behind has only a partial outline. It starts here and travels over to here and it doesn't fill underneath where the circle is. So that was one option. Now I'm going to go undo and then select those again and try a different option. So this time we'll, we'll still create a satin line, but this time we'll create it as a common outline. So around the two shapes and say, okay. And so there you can see the difference. Now it's created one outline that outlines around the two common shapes together. And I'm going to undo and we'll create, we'll select them again and we'll create it one more time. And this time we'll choose the first option, which is individual outlines and say, okay. And so now what you can see is the circle has a, or sorry, the rectangle has a full satin outline around it. And then the circle, has a full satin outline around it. So those are three different options that you can use to create outlines. Now I'm going to undo that as well and control A to select all and open up the outlines and offsets tool again. And just to point out that I was creating a satin line for my border for my ob outline of those shapes, but you can also choose a backstitch line or a motive run line or a single run line, or a stem stitch line, or a triple run line. So satin line is only one of the options there. Now I'm going to uncheck ob object outlines, and I'm going to turn on offset outlines. And this time we have different settings. So first of all, let's move this over. Think of an offset as a new object. It's going to create a new object, and my offset count is five. That means it's going to create five new objects. And those objects are going to be offset six millimeters away from my shape and then six millimeters each time away from each other. It'll make more sense when I show you what it looks like. But the idea is you get to set the number of offsets and the offset space. You get to choose the type of stitch. So right now it's set as a single run line, but you can choose a back stitch line, a motive run line, satin line, single run line, stem stitch line, and triple run line. Now I'll leave it set on the single run line. And then you also have the choice of when there's overlapping objects, do you want it to have um, like individual offsets around each shape or a common offset? So I'll choose common offset right now and say, okay. And so now you can see what it's done is it's created a new single run line around the common shape and it's six millimeters from the red fill, then another six millimeters to the next outline and six millimeters between each successive outline. And you can see that the, the five new objects are right here and I could select one of them. And if you'd like, I could um, change the type of stitch. So even though we selected single run line, we can always come in and decide later on that we'd rather have maybe this one as a satin line and 
maybe this one we would like to have as I don't know candle wicking line or any kind of line that you really would like to have you can have in those offsets so that's the offset now why don't I undo all of that and try it one more time maybe two more times so I'll select all and then I'm gonna to go to my offsets and in this case I'm gonna choose the individual offsets versus the common offsets and and show you the difference so this time you can see where the I have five offsets around the rectangle and another five offsets around the circle and so um, they all overlap with each other and it, it creates a very interesting pattern so I think you can see where this offsets and outlines can be a very creative tool for creating new and interesting designs um, what I'm gonna do is undo this one more time and again I'll go control A and this time I'm gonna do both together so for example why don't we choose to have object outlines a satin line in black around the common two shapes and then we'll go with offset outlines and why don't we choose 10 new offsets but we'll only make them be four millimeters apart and we'll make that instead of be black we'll choose oh I don't know blue or some other color whatever and again we'll go with the common offset so that it all kinda looks good together and say okay and so you can see what I got I got a nice satin stitch border right around my two pieces of fill and then I have 10 new objects that are all four millimeters apart around them so that's the tool it's called offsets and outlines and you have two different functions that you can create either object outlines or object offsets now I'm just gonna do it one more time what I'm gonna do is say open and looking inside the embroidery album I'm just gonna select one of the designs so that we can see what happens when you choose not just two simple shapes but an actual embroidery design so here I've got an embroidery design maybe I'll just open up the hoop size a little bit bigger so that we have some space around it and I'm gonna go control A to select all of the objects in that embroidery design and I'm gonna choose the tool outlines and offsets and so in this case I don't think I want a satin outline around this but what I wanted to do was create some offsets and so why don't we have our offsets be um, six millimeters apart and we'll create I don't know four of them whatever it really doesn't matter and we'll go with the common outline and say okay and so you can see what it's done it's created four new offsets that are each six millimeters apart around the shape of that embroidery design so that's really an interesting um, tool that you can use to create new outlines around your designs so yeah that's the tool known as offsets and outlines